Hey y'all, how's it going? I am Joy, and welcome back to the NFL Predictions Versus, and Steve is back. Yes, I am. Uh, thanks for uh, covering for me uh, last week there, Joy. Not a problem. Um, I'm glad I was able to get your picks in in time. I uh, <laughs> Being alone for this was definitely an experience. I, I don't know if you've seen the video, but it was only like 18 minutes long. Mm-hmm. It was just, uh, it was hard. <laughs> it was really rough. Yeah. But... Hey. It was it was a thing for sure. So how did you do in week seven then? Uh, since we didn't have time to talk about it before, uh, I made the same record as you there because I know uh, we uh, tied on the split games there. Yeah, yeah, we did. We didn't have a whole lot of splits, I don't believe. But yeah, only two. Yeah, only two. That was it was good. Um, I also we went nine and five. Um, John went nine and five as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Buff won the week. He went eleven and three. So good, good wow. on you, Buff. That was impressive. I'm so sad that I didn't go with the Commanders like I wanted to. Mm -hmm. I I believed in the Heineke, but not strong enough to um, go for it, and I should have. Yeah. So yeah. spite for the win. Regret. Yeah. And speaking of spite, we have now added spite to the clipboard. So we will be keeping track of all of our spite picks and how they've panned out. Mm -hmm. So yeah. here are our standings as of week eight. We have SDS in first place with 63, 44, and 1. John in second with 62, 45, and 1. Me with uh, 61, 46, and 1. And I love how satisfying this standings is. It's just like 1, 1, 1, 1. Yeah, the one tie. Yeah. Week one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, Steve has 60, 47, and 1. Buff has 59, 48, and 1 after his amazing week. And mm -hmm. on the year, Buff and I and our spite have a total of 4 and 1. It would be 4 and 0, oh, but in week 3, I went with the Texans over the Bears in a uh, spite filled prediction and the Bears. Annoyingly won that game. So mm -hmm. we are yeah. at four and one on that. True. But so let's review the week that was. Mm -hmm. What would you say was your game of the week? Game of the week there. Okay. Uh, I would say uh, Dak coming back there for the Cowboys and uh, be beating the Lions there, obviously. Yeah. I mean, honestly, anyone who thought that Detroit was going to actually win that one. I I question your thought process a little bit because not only was Dak coming back and he chose the right game to do it and it's a bit insulting as as a member of One Pride it's a little insulting but also I get it there was absolutely no way with that defense that Detroit was yeah. going to stop anybody let alone Dallas no um for me it was probably let me take a look at my sheet here so I'll know what exactly I, uh, what did I watch? Oh, the Commander's game that I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. Not only was it regrettable, but watching that game unfold was mm -hmm. so much fun. And the ending, if, if I can think about it, I'll grab a photo uh, mm -hmm. from, from Twitter and, and the meme section. The joy that Lions fans got on Sunday was seeing mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers faceplant himself on the field after yeah. all of that uh, uh, lateral shifting of the ball in the final few seconds of the game was done and over with, and their linemen dropped it because it's a lineman. They're not going to catch it. But yeah. his faceplant of disappointment is the only thing that gave us joy that day. So... I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, what about your regret? Regret of the week there, uh, I uh, have to say, uh, taking the, the Broncos to beat the Jets there. Uh, uh, in my own defense, uh, I'd say uh, I picked that game not knowing uh, Russell Wilson was injured there. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think that having Russ on the field would have helped a lot. I don't know if it would have been the nudge that they needed, considering he hasn't been cooking all that well this season so far. But it definitely would have been better than who they had. So they would have been able to muster more than nine points, I would sure. assume. Um, my regret is actually a toss-up between either taking the Saints on the road 
not the smartest of decisions or not trusting uh seattle on the road now the only reason that would be a regret is because they actually have a fairly decent record in la especially yeah. when it comes against the chargers so sure. Historically speaking, I probably should have gone with that, but I think my main regret is going to be taking New Orleans on the road um, against Arizona. Hey, Dino. Hi. You don't have a segment until next week. Shush. <laughs> Stop it. So there goes that one. Um, what was your shock? I think we both have a shock of the week, and it's going to probably be sure. the exact same one. Yeah, but yeah. I bet you will we, be in agreement this yeah, one there. we have to talk about it, unfortunately. Bears. Yeah. Now, if I'm not mistaken, didn't Mac Jones start that game? Yeah, true. And uh, he got picked off a couple times, and then the fans started chanting chan for Zappy. And, yeah, uh, yeah, I was going to uh, say Belichick that's... Belichick put him in there, and he started with a couple touchdowns, but then uh, then the uh, he pretty much fell, fell the same fate as Mac Jones did all game. Yeah, that game got away from them early really early i think it was like the first quarter maybe the second quarter and it was 10 nothing bears and i'm like excuse me what exactly is happening here it, detroit couldn't score on new england's defense so it made me question exactly how bad my team is if the mm -hmm. bears are able to beat them 33 14 in yeah. foxborough by the way yeah it was a road game and the bears who are mm -hmm. the bears yeah. This season, not that great, yeah. going into New England mm -hmm. and putting up 33. Yeah. It was definitely... Like the, the, nobody uh, nobody took the Bears. No, because why would you ever? Um, that was definitely a shock. I was also surprised with the Bucks game and, and losing sure. to Carolina. A one-win team, and uh, they, they're pretty much uh, demolishing the team there, and... Uh, they ended up being Tom Brady there. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, there there are some definite struggles um, down in uh, Tampa Bay. So we'll, we'll see what they can do, but it, it's not looking good for them going forward. Nope. All right. So, frick the bears. Let's move on. Week eight. Okay. <laughs> Week eight coming up. We yeah. have our first Thursday night game, if you are ready. Ready. All right, cool. First up, we have... The Ravens going to Tampa Bay, as we are talking about, mm -hmm. to take on the Bucks, the ever struggling Bucks. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know what's happening there. It's like like the team team is uh doing horrible, but yet they're uh, still in second place there in the division. I mean, to be fair, um, as I believe Troll stated in our fantasy league chat, the NFC South is a bit of a dumpster fire. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, at this rate, Atlanta might as well have a shot at winning it. <laughs> like, exactly. Which says a lot because it's Atlanta. But, I, yeah, I don't know. It's like Tampa is like two completely different teams from last yeah. year to this year. And I don't know exactly what happened um, except for the coaching change. But I don't really want to say that that was yeah. it <laughs> because, quite frankly, I'm not a huge oh, fan yeah. of Bruce Arians, but I also know that Todd Bowles wasn't mm -hmm. really a good pick. Yeah. But I, I'm not I'm not sure exactly yeah. what's going on. But it's it's hard to watch as someone who kind of likes, you know, a little bit of Brady. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that and uh Brady's been a little bit of a diva lately. No offense. No, 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 none taken. I Personally, I love his diva quality. Seeing him get triggered and go full Karen on the locker room is amazing. Yeah. yeah. And I, I love it. And it's it's hard, right? Because he essentially lost his family for the game, right? And yeah. they're not producing right. for him. And they need to rally and actually play for him. Right. Which maybe yeah. with this uh, untrustworthy defense of the Ravens, maybe mm -hmm. this will be the game? Maybe, but... Uh going to be tough uh, you know uh playing against uh lamar jackson there and the ravens offense there yeah i mean offensively the ravens are definitely a lot more high powered than tampa is for sure true, true. so uh i i'm gonna go with a little little bit of a 
outside the box pick, and I, I'm going to take the Ravens to uh, beat the box there and uh, continue the continue the Brady's downfall. I, I really hate putting it that way, but I also agree with you. Um, I don't like having to trust Baltimore. I never do, but I think in this instance, even being on the road, I, I have to go with them over Tampa. Tampa is just struggling, mm-hmm. especially mid-season form. This is not what you want to see going into uh, the final few weeks of the season in a playoff push. So we'll see how who actually wins the South, but mm-hmm. it's kind of at risk, my opinion. True. All right, Thursday is now done. Moving on to the regular game, we have... Mm-hmm. The Broncos, who I still think are without Russ. I'm not positive. I really should have checked on that before I said this. Yeah. But... And they will be going to Jacksonville. And this game is going to be over at Wembley Stadium in London, England. Okay, there. good. Thank you, because I don't know things, mm-hmm. <laughs> apparently. Yeah. See, I, see this, is, this is why I need you here. Yeah. I, I, I missed you last week. But, but you know, when the, the Euro games are going to happen. Yeah, exactly, because I... I don't know. I don't keep track of this stuff. That's that's, that's your job. I'm just here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There. Uh, like I said, there. Uh, we we don't know the stats of Russell Wilson. I think he's still uh, still injured there, as far as I know. Yeah, yeah. As far as uh, the night goes, when we are recording this, which is the night before uh, yeah. the, the Thursday night game, mm-hmm. we are unsure. So unfortunately, yeah. so, that's uh, playing a role in our picks. We're under under the assumption they're going to start uh, Brett Rippon at QB there. Uh-huh. Which so. means we're taking Jacksonville. Exactly there. <laughs> that, I agree there. Yep, pretty much. I, I was I was ninety nine percent sure you were going to agree with me, so I went for it, and I'm so glad mm-hmm. that it actually worked out. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't really like Jacksonville that much either, to be fair, but I think that. Yeah. Of the two teams, mm-hmm. they have a much better chance, and they almost beat the Giants last week. So True. they're they're nothing to sneeze at. Yeah. Even if I do have allergies. Yeah. All right. So uh, circling back to the NFC South now, we have the surprising Panthers and the surprising Falcons in yeah. Atlanta. True. It's gonna this be a strange a, game. That's an important uh, division game. There. It is. Fresh, but. Especially uh, now that Tampa's uh, coming down the earth. Hi, Dino. Again. <laughs> every, every every bird. Every time there's a bird game. <laughs> you have to get his two cents in. He, he does. I, I know you like the birds. We'll see if we all agree with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, obviously Carolina shocked the world last week there by yeah. be, being right in the box there. Mm-hmm. Holding the three points there, which, which is yeah, that was that was my um my surprise wasn't so much the offensive production because I figured that not having McCafferty they would struggle but also get a bit of a um a bit of a shot in the arm because now other players need to step up and fill in that gap and so they did which was very good to see yeah but I was surprised defensively that they were able to hold the the weapons that. Brady has to mm-hmm. one singular field goal. Yeah, exactly. I was I was yeah. stunned. Yeah, and the and the Falcons obviously uh need a bounce back game from their loss to the Bengals there. So uh I think this this the the perfect game them to turn it around their season and uh maybe challenge for the division there. So I I'm picking the Falcons there. So you know you can uh, smile happy. <laughs> yeah, you can you can be satisfied. Um, I'm also in agreement with you and Steve. Thank you for the ding of approval. We uh, are all taking Atlanta in this one. I don't know right now. Um, I forget who the others said, but I believe it would make sense that we're all taking the Falcons. I'm not sure yet, mm-hmm. but I hope so. Mm, me too. Yeah, because uh, if this is a split, the, the Falcons and I don't do well with splits historically so hopefully it's unanimous we shall see so uh speaking of things that i don't do well with we have the bears going to dallas 
Yeah. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and say right now that this is not a spiteful pick. I nope. tru I truly believe that Dallas is the better team. Exactly there. Now that they got the Dak back and in the helm there, uh, uh, I mean the Cooper Rush did did a great job job yeah. uh, when the when the Dak was uh, about battling the thumb injury there. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I mean honestly, I think even if Dak wasn't ready to play yet, mm -hmm. they they still would have beaten Detroit last year or not last year yeah. last week. True. They they still would have beaten Detroit last week, and they still would beat the Bears this week, even if they were playing with Cooper Rush. So yeah, true. I just I I'm not gonna say that last week was a fluke for the Bears because somehow they did they did they they beat them handily. It's not a fluke. True. But I think against the defense of Dallas, yeah, the the Dallas D is strong. That is a very yeah. hard D to face. So I'm trusting in that. Yeah. Okay, and uh, obviously uh, we'll probably be in agreement, and uh, you might as well put the star on it. Y yep. One star or five, I don't care. It's better yeah. than the Bears. So, mm -hmm. exactly. get off my screen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good Goodbye, Bears. Mm -hmm. uh, moving on, we have the Lions hosting Miami, who had Tua back last week, and it actually yeah. worked out pretty well. Yeah, uh, they did pretty good there, but even though uh, Tua had a tiny bit of rust there, coming back from his uh, concussion yeah, injury. Yeah, a little bit. Also, um, I question coaching decisions, not going for the field goal to be up uh, 19 to 10 and yeah. give Pittsburgh no chance <clears throat> of winning. But what do I know? Yeah. Who, who takes the points in this league anymore, like honestly? So, uh, well, Coach, uh, want to take a, take a risky... Uh, chances there sometimes they work and sometimes they don't i would love to know when it does to mm -hmm. be fair now again maybe i'm jaded because my my coach does not usually have it pay off when he goes for it on fourth and mm -hmm. forever mm -hmm. so i'm i'm very curious on instances where it actually does yeah. um now in the dolphins case they got lucky in the mm -hmm. chargers case when they were facing the browns they got lucky mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I I personally don't like having to rely on luck to get these yeah. things won. And so yeah. when you have a way of putting the game away by making it a two-possession game, you know, late in the fourth, yeah. you should probably take that. Exactly. So uh, I imagine uh, you and I will be in agreement and uh, take two and the Dolphins to win. Yeah, uh, unfortunately. I do think that Detroit can win it, and uh, they, they do need to win eventually. But mm -hmm. I'm not going to go with them mm -hmm. to win until I'm assured that they'll be able to by having all of their weapons back, having their defense actually play well, which is scary, honestly, because they don't have Tracy Walker. Yeah. Right. And they're, they're, they're banged up pretty much across the board. And even if they're not, their scheme is massively predictable and easy to plan for. So yeah. they need to start putting some more pieces together and actually play smart football, Dan Campbell. Be smart. Yeah. Be smart next time you try call play. Yeah, be smart. Get out of your own way. Let your coordinators coordinate and just yeah. do your coaching thing. Absolutely. Anyway, we are in agreement. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, so next up, we have a team coming off the bye. We have Minnesota. If I can click the button. Thank you. Th thank you. Mm -hmm. This mouse, I, oof, I'm going to throw it against the wall. We have yeah. Minnesota <laughs> hosting Arizona. Send it over to my cat. I will. I will do that. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, Air mail. Uh, Arizona, they're uh, coming off a huge win against the Saints there. Uh, yeah. Uh, some say, say, say it was a fluke, and uh, others say there was just the Saints uh, weren't, weren't playing well. Yeah. I mean, for me, they won by eight. So I can't really call it much of a fluke because they, they did win by a full score. Like, yeah. if they would have won by one or two, then I could see where, like, a penalty could have cost it or a missed extra point or something like that. But exactly. they, they won fairly handily. Now, their defense did give up 34 points, which is not a good sign coming into this week when you're facing a team fresh off the bye with all of their weaponry. True. 
Yeah. So, uh, and obviously, uh, the Vikings there, they need the rest there to, uh, get, the uh, Kirk Cousins and the Al Thielen and the rest of the Vikings, uh, well deserved rest there. Mm hmm. For sure. It was a, it was a hard seven weeks. Mm hmm. Yeah. And I'm sure, uh, a couple, couple people on the Discord, uh, will, are happy that the Vikings are in first place instead of the Packers. Oh, 100%. Spite for the win. Skull. Let's do this. Yeah. I, uh, I'm i personally happy as well because uh, this means that Green Bay loses. And anytime Green Bay loses, you have a happy yeah. joy. Even yeah. if it is to Minnesota. And I don't mind Minnesota. Like, they're they're True. a good, solid team. Mm -hmm. They're, uh... True. They, they kind of, like, rebuilt a little bit. Yeah. Even, uh, even if uh, Kirk Cousins is the... Uh, the main quarterback yeah i because i mean statistically speaking he's not that bad i just he's always rubbed me the wrong way even when he was playing in washington and mm -hmm. i know that he's from michigan uh from, yeah. from college so yeah i probably should have some kind of loyalty to that but i just i i don't i don't and his whole attitude coming out of washington yeah. has always kind of rubbed me wrong and Mm -hmm. I, I, I I don't know. As a player, yeah. he's not bad. As a yeah. everything else, I have a bit of a off putting ness. True. Yeah. So uh imagine we'll be in the green and then uh both take the Vikings? Uh we are, yes, because they're fresh off the freaking Arizona go away. Mm -hmm. This mouse. Like I might have to have your cats kill this thing to be fair. It's it's just it's <laughs> it's just it's yeah. a problem. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, um, take Arizona off the layout. I am in agreement with you. They're coming right off the bye, and they're at home. So everything's kind of leaning towards Minnesota. And I think even if it wasn't with the bye and the rest, Minnesota's a much better team and someone that I would trust more than Arizona. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it all boils down to who you trust. And I don't trust Kyler Murray or their defense to really handle things. So, yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, we have the Raiders and the Saints. Uh, if we can get to... uh, obviously, uh, Raiders there coming off a huge win, win against the uh, Texans there, which which I think everybody was in agreement with. Um, yeah, yeah, and they actually won by a pretty large margin, so there's really not a whole lot you can say to that except for you were facing Houston. Yeah. Congratulations. I mean, uh, yeah. And uh, obviously uh, the Saints, they're, uh, even though they're, they're still an okay team, but uh, they're they're having their problems lately there. They're, they're struggling offensively for sure. <coughs> um, I don't know exactly what's going on down there, but mm -hmm. there's, there, there's some, some struggles. Um, yeah. Camaro was playing last week. I don't know why they didn't give him the ball more often. Yeah. Um, True. Sure. But I, I like a lot of pieces about New Orleans, so I'm hoping that they can put everything together. And... Yeah, they're pretty much in the same bubble as the the box right now. Mm, kind of, I think, but just they ha they have more injuries on their side, I believe. Yeah. So I mean, one could argue that that would be why they're not performing as well as they should yeah, be. Yeah, without uh, James Winston there. Yeah, but I mean, they're still putting up a lot of points. It's just their defense isn't getting the job done to prevent sure. the other one from putting up a lot of points sure. so it, it's kind of similar to detroit and seattle True. detroit should have won that game but their defense came True. up short True. and uh this week i think i'm going to call an audible i think i'm going to take the raiders to uh beat the saints um yeah i agree actually so here we go again no splits yay wow yeah i'm surprised uh very surprised i was agonizing over this game because i do like new orleans a lot and i know that they're at home now and i know that they have good potential to bounce back and yeah. i don't trust the raiders a lot because the whole yeah. you know Derek carr buckling under pressure thing yeah. but i think considering how the past couple of weeks have gone i kind of have to go with the raiders on this one just to play it a little bit safer um true i'm not in a position to make a lot of risks in in our standings because i'm only one game back from pretty much everybody so 
every every pick counts every uh every game matters exactly all right so now we have the afc east mm. i believe am i th yes okay sorry brain now we have the afc east we have the jets hosting the patriots yeah obviously uh with the patriots there they they have a quarterback controversy sorry to say it I feel really bad for Mac Jones, but I really like Bailey Zappi too. Yeah, yeah. I think I think Belichick should uh, should get his ducks in order and decide uh, which quarterback he should uh, go go with there uh, for the forthcoming season. There. Yeah, I mean, but, uh, you go if... from one quarterback to the other, there. Uh, so it'll probably end up uh, costing him a whole pile of games. Yeah, I mean, for me, you have to in this instance, you have to remain with your hot hand. Which unfortunately for Mac Jones is Zappy. So mm -hmm. True. if Mac Jones happens to be looking for a new home next year, I have a mm -hmm. few ideas about, you know, yeah. a I certain know. An I, NFC team who could probably use your services. I know I know what team you're you're thinking of. Yeah, yeah. But no, actually I have I have my eye on a different QB that I would love to have. Um, I highly doubt that they're going to be smart enough to make that play and give me my favorite yeah. QB, mm -hmm. but one can hope. Yeah, and obviously uh, the Jets there are coming off that huge win in Denver, but it was a costly one because they lost their uh, rookie running back there for the rest of the season. Oof, yeah, that's that's going to hurt going forward. Yeah, they they uh, acquired a couple more there. I think they acquired one from uh, Jacksonville there. Mm, okay. Well, that's that's smart of them. See, they're, they're, that's what I was talking about with smart coaching and planning and just playing smart yeah, football. GM, sir. Yeah, it, it's it's smart football. You always have a next man up. Yeah, exactly there. But uh, I think I'm about, yeah, this week I'm going to go with a little bit of an upset here, and I uh, I think the Jets can can beat the Patriots because uh, right now, uh, like we said, there uh, the the quarterbacks are kind of foggy in the Patriots there, and the uh, with the Jets, it's uh, Zach Wilson's team there, and uh, they, I think they can win at home against the Patriots. Yeah, I, I, I love Zach Wilson. I really do. The only thing that I have a problem with is when I've seen him uh, not block. He acted like he was going to and then, like, backed off. It was hilarious, but also, come on, man. You mm -hmm. have one job. At, at least try. At least pretend yeah. you're going to try. Um, also, it feels really weird to say this, but... I'm completely in agreement, and I'm taking the Jets over New England, of all things. Yeah. Uh, I, I wow. do think that right right now they're kind of the more hot team, and mm -hmm. I question New England at the QB position because now you've taken the ball out of Bailey Zavi's hands. If you're going to give it back to him, you know, he's kind of lost that momentum that he was riding before. Mm -hmm. And then if you trust Mac Jones, then it's also not going to have the same continuity that they did before. Sure. When they were working with Zappy, so they oh. do need to figure out what they're gonna do. Um, I do think that if Zappy plays, it's gonna be a very mm. tough game regardless. But I think, the, hi, I think I that mean, the <laughs> I think the Patriots um, would win, but again, I'm playing it more safe, and I'm actually taking the Jets. Mm -hmm. Who would have ever thought that taking yeah. the Jets would be a safe pick? Yeah, honestly. Yeah. All right. Uh, next up, we have the Eagles hosting the Steelers. Battle of Pennsylvania. Yep. Yeah. It's the, it's the state war. Yeah. Yeah. The the Steelers there. Uh, they they hung in there close with the the Dolphins there last week. There. They had a chance. And again, like I was saying in our review, mm -hmm. uh, they shouldn't have. Yeah, had a chance, but they did yeah. have a chance. And the yeah. ending of that game was really sad to see because I I was out here um in the living room and I was watching that one. Yeah, it was a uh, Sunday night football, so it was like right before I went to sleep. Yeah, and um, it, Kenny Pickett mm -hmm. had a really really big rookie mistake. Yeah, and that's what cost them the chance to at least win by one. And yeah. he tried to force it. He tried to make a play happen, and he tried to force the oh, issue. And true. that's something that a veteran typically wouldn't do. Mm -hmm. So there, there's still going to be a bit of a learning curve for him 
uh, in the True. pros, unfortunately. And I think that that's going to continue uh, in week eight, unfortunately, because they're facing the Eagles, whose defense yeah. ain't no slouch. And... True. Obviously, they'll, they'll be well rested after the bye week. There. Exactly. Coming off the bye, going to Philly. Yeah. It's going to be yeah. a really tough task for the Rook. And, uh, yeah, true. There. And, I don't know. Uh, and obviously, uh, the Eagles there are, are still undefeated there. And the uh, question is, uh, when when will they finally lose a game there? But I don't think it'll be this week there. So uh, my lock is with the Eagles. Yeah, I, I tend to agree. I think uh, we were talking about it. Uh, I forget when. I would actually love for them to lose in week 10. That would oh, be my, okay. my ultimate pick, is for them to lose in Week 10 mm -hmm. to my favorite quarterback. So oh, okay. we shall see if that works. But I'm also I'm in agreement. Uh, no what, no win. I'm taking yeah. Philly yeah. for the win in this one. Mm -hmm. uh, where the, There we are. Okay. An AFC South battle, we have the Titans and the Texans. Yeah. King Henry, yeah. roll on. Yeah. Hey, Dino. You you like Henry, too? <laughs> Smart Don't bird. Don't call from the bird. <laughs> yeah. But the cat ear is purring. So Everybody likes Henry. Like Henry. <laughs> All the pets are smart. Everyone likes Henry. Yeah. Good. Yeah, but Titans, there are obviously the dom dominant force in the uh, AFC South there. Yeah, I mean, because honestly, I don't really see a team, with the exception of if Jacksonville keeps getting lucky. Yeah. I don't exactly. see a team that's going to dethrone Tennessee right now. The the, the yeah. Colts are in shambles. Yeah, true. Yeah. And uh, obviously, uh, we'll, we'll be in agreement and uh, take, the, take the Titans. 100%. King Henry, mm -hmm. roll on. Mm -hmm. Why did you... Bird. Oh, oh, did the mouse go again? No, the, the, the bird threw something out of his cage. Uh oh oh he, he rejected this... <laughs> wow. Wow, okay. Calm down, but you know... I know, I'm excited for the game, too. Mm-hmm. Stupid bird rejected my stick. Anyway, uh, next up, maybe maybe he's a fan of this guy just as much as I am. But next game we have are the Commanders. I was just talking about a storm over there. Going yeah. to Indianapolis to take on the Colts, who I yeah. believe have benched Matt Ryan. Yep, they have there. Cornelius being on Monday there. They yep. benched him there and uh, starting some rookie there. Yeah, Sam... Something that starts with an H. Yeah. I don't know his name. It's, it's Sam something. But, Hang on uh, here. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll find, I'll Google it there. Yeah, yeah, Hit Hit up the Googles. The yeah. Googs knows all. Um, in the meantime, though, my, my question on this game is if Carson Wentz is healthy and, and he's good to go, will he be a healthy scratch for this game? Yeah. Or... It's, uh, yeah, Sam Ellinger. Ellinger. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't start with an H after all. It just sounds like it does. Yeah. Ellinger. Okay. So Sammy E will yeah. be the QB in Indy. Exactly. Um, <laughs> so my my question on the commanders though is you have mm -hmm. a QB who the team will rally around and play for. Yeah. Taylor yeah, Heineke there. Yep. Yeah. My boy. Or mm -hmm. you have Carson Wentz, if he's healthy, going to his mm -hmm. former team. Do you play that mm -hmm. card for the revenge, or do you keep it with the QB that people actually like? No yeah, offense to Carson Wentz, but it was me there. I I stick with uh, Heineke until uh, till he uh, has an awful game there. I would too. I I think one of the things that they were saying is that Heineke is going to keep it for a while, <laughs> and then they're going to start the rookie in the final few games because we quote have to see what we have with the kid and i'm like so you don't want to win is what you're saying mm -hmm. this this entire season is to see what we have so you're basically running this like it's a preseason show 
Yeah, exactly. To, to figure out who's going to be where and how they're going to play and all of that when you should have been doing that in the offseason, in OTAs, in the preseason games. So mm-hmm. I, I question how they're doing this because honestly, I think they should have just started Heineke from the get. Yeah, they never should have gotten Carson Wentz. This was a this was a stupid decision. You have Taylor mm-hmm. Heineke. He's a really good QB. The team likes him. The city likes him. Mm-hmm. I mean that game against uh, Green Bay. Mm-hmm. The the crowd was so into it. Yeah, exactly. This this is the guy, and you guys just don't for some reason see that. Mm-hmm. And if you happen to want to let him go, mm-hmm. we have a starting right. QB and some picks. True. <laughs> just saying. Yeah, but that being but, uh, said, yeah, but I think uh, this week there, I think I'm going to go with the Commanders to uh, beat the Colts. My God, this is going to be a really good week for us, I think, mm-hmm. because uh, I am in agreement. I am trusting in wow. Heineke. I wanted to go with the Colts, but then when they benched yeah. Matt Ryan, I, I mean, m- maybe the rookie is going to be good, but I'm, I'm taking. Heineke, because I didn't trust him last week, I'm trusting him this week. Okay. And if Ron Rivera does not start him, I am going to be mildly peeved. Mm-hmm. Exactly. All right. Uh, next up, we might have a split on this one. We mm-hmm. shall see. We have uh, the Battle of the Ages out west with mm-hmm. San Francisco and the Rams. Yeah, I know I asked you this question late Sunday before you fell asleep there, but uh, I'm going to ask to you again right now. Sure. Yeah. Now that uh, Christian McCaffrey is uh, with the Niners, are you still going to cheer for him, or, or are you sticking with uh, the Panthers? Um, I I will follow McCaffrey. Uh, my my fandom is to him. I have no allegiance to Carolina outside of liking their blue, but um. I'll I'll follow McCafferty and still cheer for him wherever True. he he ends up, and he happened to end up in uh, San Francisco. I had hoped he would have ended up in Buffalo. Yeah. To be fair, but yeah. um, he uh, didn't. Wouldn't so. Surprise me if uh, teams like the Jets and the Giants there were were interested in them there. Yeah, I mean, well, the Jets because they just lost their rookie for sure. I, I think the Giants yeah. are secure with having Saquon Barkley. I would have personally loved him in Buffalo to pair him off with Singletary. I think that would have been True. a f- fantastic running True. back core. True. Yeah. But obviously now McCaffrey and uh, Debo Samuels at, at running back, that's a one, two, ten, ten to split, split yeah. the plays there. That, that definitely will help uh, San Francisco a lot. Um, I don't really know what their passing game looks like outside of Kittle, but mm-hmm. uh yeah, I, I don't uh this this game concerns me because um the Rams are coming off the bye, right? And True. and with all that talent on that team, yeah, one would think they'd yeah. be fine. They're at home. Mm-hmm. They're fresh off the bye. True. Everything on paper leads me to believe that the Rams will be successful. Ooh. Everything in the history makes me believe this is San Francisco. No, they ain't. They never mm-hmm. be San Francisco. True. So I I was so so torn on this game. Okay, and uh, I think uh, Jimmy G and the Niners there uh, did a great game there. Uh, even though they came up short against the the Chiefs last week, there. Uh, I think that they're they're all, no no other place for them to go but up there for them. So. Uh, I think my pick this week is going to be the Niners to beat the Rams. I agree with you that the only place for them to go is up. I agree that having CMC on that team is going to help them a lot, and they performed mm-hmm. very, very well against Kansas City. Mm-hmm. But I'm stubborn, and I don't learn lessons quickly. Mm-hmm. I took the Rams. Oh, uh, at home, uh, off the bye, against history. I'm I'm trusting in Stafford again, yeah. like I always have. So yeah. I'm. This is our first split, and I'm yeah, more than yeah. likely going to be alone in this. So mm-hmm. I need Stafford to pull through, and I need that defense to pull through, and and stop a run. 
because yeah. you know you know they're going to run it exactly you, you know what their game plan is so sure. you need to just shore up your defensive line yeah d up and handle this mm -hmm. all right so next one has potential to be a split i believe mm -hmm. but we shall see we have yeah. uh the giants who are surging going to true. seattle true uh um, obviously nobody saw the saw the rise of the the giants this season there no honestly i mean i feel like we should have with uh brian dabble but yeah. i don't think yeah. that anybody actually gave them what respect they actually deserved based True. on that and yeah. so now they're just out here surprising people week after week True. yeah and obviously seattle shocked us last week there by uh beating the chargers i shouldn't have been surprised based on the history i should have known that was coming but it was seattle on the road i don't usually trust true. seattle on the road true yeah it was a big mistake for both of us last yeah week. yeah i i feel safe and I, I probably would have picked it again having known the outcome well, just because i was that sure that mm -hmm. the chargers had that true but with me there uh i won't get surprised again there and uh i think i'm gonna go uh, go with the giants on the road to uh beat seattle i agree 100 percent um this was one of those games i was torn on as well because i could see it going either way um i think being in seattle is always difficult to be on the road mm -hmm. so that was kind of where i was leaning more towards seattle but then the giants run game and that defense that defense is surprisingly solid so yeah I'm I'm taking the Giants as well. Yeah. All right. Next up, I love this game. I'm so happy that this game is on Sunday night so that everybody can watch it. Yeah. We have Back. the Packers going to Buffalo. True. I'm so happy. And obviously, uh, you're happy because of the of the downfall of uh, Aaron Rodgers lately. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I I don't know what's wrong with them there. I figured maybe uh because they don't have a wide receiving core there, but it's their but, fault. But it's not not the wide wide receivers there. It's not the running back. It's uh I don't know if it's coaching or uh or if it's Aaron Rodgers himself there causing the problem. I I think a good portion of it is the defense still, because mm -hmm. if you can't stop anybody. Mm -hmm. then you know yeah. you're, you're gonna have problems True. i think um i think the problem is aaron Rodgers' contract yeah because exactly. they had no money to yeah. go and get players like when, when they had Devonte adams they were a much better and completely different team and now True. they're playing with some really young players and yeah. randall cobb who don't really know exactly what to do and that was something that Aaron Rodgers himself was talking about recently when he said that if if you don't understand the game of football, you probably shouldn't be playing it. True. Which yeah. is a slight against his entire offense. So I don't know who exactly he was targeting, but yeah. someone's going to get themselves an earful. Yeah. Um, and if uh, this downfall continues, you, how long before the fans uh, start chanting for uh, Jordan Love to come in at QB? I, I don't know. I don't think that they're going to turn on Aaron Rodgers. I, I do think the football fans are smart enough to know what's whose fault. Yeah. And I don't think that this is something you can lay at Aaron Rodgers' feet. Like, is he playing at his absolute best? No. But he yeah, also doesn't awesome. have the absolute best team around him to play with. Yeah. And also, for me personally, considering that I had A.J. Dillon on my fantasy team pretty much all year long... Yeah. Why aren't you giving him the ball? Why aren't yeah. you giving Aaron Jones the ball? You have a yeah. decent running and back. You, and you wonder why uh, Devontae Adams uh, left the Packers for the Raiders there. Yeah, honestly. Now, like, like a good run game will set you up going forward in any game that you play. So mm -hmm. the fact that you have a decent tandem and you're not using them effectively. You get, uh, AJ Dillon got me two points. Two mm -hmm. whole points in my fantasy. It was horrible, so much so that I got rid of him and brought in Kirk Cousins, there which you go. says a lot. 
but I, I needed yeah. somebody to take over for Patrick Mahomes because he's on by and it's 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 a whole thing. But yeah, Green Bay's problem for me personally is offensive scheming because oh. they don't have weapons that Aaron Rodgers can use effectively, and they're not scheming for what the talent pool is that they have. They're they're scheming yeah. for what they had. Yeah, they they were in the off season. They really need to get get some weapons for uh, Aaron Rodgers to uh, throw to. They do now, and that's assuming that he sticks. I don't like him either. Give me a second, and the game will be over. Mm-hmm. That's assuming that he doesn't retire. Yeah. To be sure. fair, I mean, he might just take his quick fifty mil and bounce. So yeah. we we don't know exactly what's going to happen there, but. Bro. Um, all of that being said, I'm happy to go with Buffalo. Exactly. I, I'm in agreement there. Yeah, and I, I, I don't just want Buffalo to win. I, I want <laughs> Buffalo to destroy. And, yes, go go on a stampede. Singletary, Josh Allen, mm-hmm. anyone who can carry it. Stefan Diggs. It. Yeah, Stefan Diggs. If you can carry the ball. Von Miller on defense. Oh, my God. The Von Miller, though. <laughs> Stampede. <laughs> Destroy. <laughs> and make me happy. Again. Alright, so we have one final game to go, and it is another state war, like in Pennsylvania, but this time it is in Ohio, when the Browns will be mm-hmm. uh, hosting... Mm-hmm. That was in the wrong spot for a second. Yeah. Cincinnati. Cincinnati. This is a real, real good game for Halloween night there. Ooh, yeah, it is. I forgot that Halloween was on a Monday. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, yeah. This is perfect. It's got a lot of orange. It's got a lot of festivity. Yeah. Yeah. I like obviously, it. Uh, obviously, Joe Burrow had had the had the game of his of the week last week. They're uh, thrashing the Falcons. No offense, Dino. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's why he's a little mad right now because we brought up the guy who murdered your loved one stupid bird but yeah jo- joe burrow had himself quite the game um but again it was just kind of against atlanta so it's you know what it is mm-hmm. um i think that having to deal with the defense of cleveland is going to be different and then yeah. uh the Bengals having to deal with the chub coming out of cleveland is going to be definitely um a little bit different to handle. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. No, obviously, uh, the Browns, they're, uh, as far as I'm concerned, they're just uh, waiting for uh, a few more weeks there when they can uh, get back uh, to Sean Watson. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm still, like, not a very big fan of that whole situation, but I will say that he's uh, an improvement from Jacoby Brissett uh, still. Yeah. But <laughs> so, who you got in this one? Uh, obviously, uh, I'm gonna ride the hot hand there and uh, take uh, Burrow and the Bengals to uh, beat the Browns. I I agree. I think that uh, the Bengals are still <laughs> trying to prove that they belong here, like belong on top. So mm-hmm. I'm uh, I'm taking. Oh my God, bird! Oh, stop it! I, I don't <laughs> I don't care if you like Nick Chubb. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I like him too, but not against this team. Yeah. So I'm taking Cincinnati before he throws a conniption fit at me again. Yeah, we were sure. going to just get rid of this one. Uh, teams on the bye, we have a shorter bye schedule. We have the Chargers and the Chiefs on the bye this week. Yeah, just the two teams. Yeah, just the two. So moving on again before he yells at me, we have uh, the picks of the other three competitors. We have John on the left and uh, SDS over on the right who says that the Lions have to win at some point, mm-hmm. but he also took the Bears, so... Uh, well, uh, questionable logic, my friend. We shall we'll see. We'll see who, who has the biggest regret after that game there. Honestly. Honestly, yes. Um, let me see. He also went with the Bucks over the Ravens, which makes sense because he is a Bucks fan, and I think that that's at least a, um, yeah. a safe split. Yeah. As is yeah. going with the Patriots over the Jets like he did. I mm-hmm. just seriously question your choices with the Bears and yeah. the Lions and, and the Cardinals, actually, over True. Minnesota. But you know what? You can defend all of those picks down in the comments. True. And then finally, we have 
buff who i'm saving for last because his pick sheet is rather vast with his reasoning so here goes buff's picks he took um right. the ravens because the bucks are bad until further notice mm -hmm. he took the jags because see bucks he took the dolphins see the bucks mm -hmm. for that too i can understand mm -hmm. that detroit is bad until further notice and that'll yeah. be until next year or the year after yeah. that yeah. or year six of campbell's contract which i'll see yeah uh he took the falcons because lightning rarely strikes twice in carolina's case mm -hmm. he took the vikings skull mm -hmm. yes i know get used to it he knows an agreement yep um he took the eagles saying go steelers kind of odd but i'll sarcastically yeah I'll, I'll i'll go with it uh because go Steelers as well once they have watt back and they get rid of mitch uh he took the jets because the patriots are bad until further notice mm -hmm. uh he took the colts so he's alone in that that's a lone split for him yeah good um, luck with your rookie quarterback yeah good luck with that one um trust in taylor we'll see how it goes yeah uh he took the niners and said a uh, full christian mccafferty time you right so it is a lone game for me with the rams that'd be a very good split if i can pull it off if stafford can mm -hmm. pull it off mm -hmm. i'm terrified and then he went with the bills uh with the reasoning of see the bucks i'd say spite but it's really not spite because the packers yeah. are actually bad until further notice yeah so there we have that there's all the picks uh dino had his many cents put in yeah. Next week we will be having a uh, bird pick of the week because we have a battle of the birds. So stay tuned for that. Uh, stay anything, tuned later, yeah. Anything that you want to say about this week before we go ahead and wrap uh, up and I go eat dinner? Obviously, uh, best of luck to everybody out there, and uh, obviously uh, hit the like and subscribe and uh, turn on the notification bell for all the future NFL versus uh, videos on here. Yeah, one hundred percent. I uh, I'm really glad that you're back. I'm really glad that this series is going well and that people are enjoying it as much as they are. Mm -hmm. um, if you have any quotes from either of us in this series, uh, this video in particular, go ahead and leave those down in the comments below or in my quotes room of the Discord server because I really love the idea of having like more out of context quotes being brought up or mm -hmm. or what have you because I I don't joke around much in this kind of thing uh, my content in general is not very jokey but mm -hmm. i i do like being able to slip them in every now and then so mm -hmm. if you guys True. pick up on those kudos thank you for uh being the inspiration in some cases yeah. and um thank you for watching this one uh, thank you for catching up with the series and we will catch you next week for week nine of the nfl predictions versus thank you all see you next week